Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Finish It Friday for Friday, July 19th, 2024. So if you wanna see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. This video is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to share where we've been this week. We're gonna start with my big goal finish for the week and then go into some partial finishes. And I even have a little bit of a fabric haul and a happy mail to share with you today. So uh, let's start by going upstairs. You see this quilt top behind me. I want you to see it all big and pretty. So let's go there first. My big quilting goal for the week was to get this quilt top finished for my nephew and it is done. Take a look, it looks so good. I'm so excited. I currently have all of the rows stitched together. I have setting triangles. I have corner triangles. It, is, it just looks amazing. I will have the video for this quilt um, or for this section of making this quilt. It's gonna be available on Sunday, so please stay tuned to the channel. Um, it currently measures about 81 to about 106 or 107. So it is a huge quilt. And I thought that it would shrink from adding the seams together, but that doesn't seem to be the case, I guess, when you sew something on point. It didn't shrink as much as I thought it would, but I'm so happy to have it done. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, I have to uh, cut down the quarter inches on all of those triangles to get, that, uh, to get a quarter inch seam allowance, but I'm not gonna do that until after it's quilted. I think it's gonna be best to wait but I love how the blocks look. I love how everything came together. Sashing, cornerstones, it looks really great. So for today, I think my next, this is like a little baby goal, is to think about the binding and maybe work on it. My backing fabric is gonna be here tomorrow. So this could be on the long arm as early as maybe Sunday or Monday of next week. So it's so excited. It has come together so well, and I can't wait to share it with my nephew when it's complete. If you've been here this week with me on Vlogmas, there have been a lot of little pieces that are going towards other projects. And so I just wanna review those with you. And some of them you've seen, some of them you have not seen, but we're going to um, just go through them one at a time. And then at the end, we'll hit our fabric haul and happy mail. So uh, one of the things that we did this week was work on some quilt as you go panels. These are um, going to turn into a tote bag that I'm giving to my mom. It is uh, quilted all the way through. This is batting. Um, since it's gonna be a bag, I didn't put a backing on it, but I'm going to line it with this fabric. And I have both of the panels here. I will link the quilt as you go video in the description box if you have not seen this. This process is super easy and fun, so um, you will enjoy it if you take a chance. One cool thing about these blocks is these are my grandmother's, some of these are my grandmother's fabrics from quilts that she's made in the past or quilt tops that she made in the past and I finished them. And then some of these other things are uh, pieces that I've added to those quilts. So I think it's gonna be really special to share with my mom and hopefully I can get that tote bag finished quickly and gift it to her. Another thing that I worked on this week was the paper piecing. We did this in the live video um, and I'm almost done making all the pieces to the pattern. It's called Fist Raised by Jennifer Ofenstein. I will link her, um, her channel and this pattern in the description so you can go check it out. I've been working on this on our live videos. Next week, I'm going to uh, finish making these off camera and then I will cut them down and sew them into a completed block on camera. That's the goal anyway. So um, I have some work to do to finish these up for next week, but I can't wait to see what this block looks like all together. Another thing that I've been doing as I've worked on this quilt top is I've been doing a leader ender project. So I finished this Jacob's Ladder block. If you follow my channel, the Jacob's Ladder is my current leader ender that I've been working on. And so this is my most recent block. I think this makes eight 
that I've completed. And I did start another block. I've made some four patches. I'll show you uh, just two of them so you can see the colorway that we're going to be working with right here. I don't know how close you can see it, but I have a little, I'll, I'll come close. So I have a little purple floral and a little, uh, this one is, what is it called? Spotted. That's the name of that fabric line. So the next one is going to be this coral and purple. And then I started on the half square triangles, but I decided to go another way with my leader ender because I want to add borders to my rainbow string quilt. So I'm going to put a picture of that quilt here. If you have not seen the tutorial, it will be linked in the description so that you can check it out. But I want to add some borders. I'm going to add this uh, purple as a stop border. And so I've been putting this together. These were leftover pieces from the quilt and um, that were already cut into two and a half inch strips. But I wanted to put them together first so I can see how many width of fabric strips I'm going to need. So I have to get this pressed out and I think I'm just going to sit it, like put it next to the quilt and see how much it covers to see how many, um, how many strips we need to go all the way around the quilt. And then another thing that I've been doing is, um, I took the other leftover strips from that quilt and I've been sorting them by size because I'm going to do the purple border. And then I want to do a, um, piano key border going around that the quilt as well. So that's going to be my next step. I've already started sorting. I put a picture here um, of the sorting process in the very early stages. And then we're going to start sewing these strips together to make a piano key border. I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be awesome on that quilt. Can't wait to see everything put together. And I already have a backing selected. I think it's going to be enough for the quilt. I have to wait and see after I get the whole thing stitched together. Um, but I think it's going to be really amazing to get it. Um, if, if it works out like I think it will in my head. So, so much fun. Um, a lot going on next week. The, I think my main thing for next week, of course, get this bad boy up on the long arm. Um, and then, um, of course make the binding. I'll probably work on the binding today excuse me, while I work on the other stuff uh, for this rainbow string quilt. And then um, next week, I think it will take about one afternoon or just a couple hours, if that, to finish my mom's tote bag. I really want to do that. I The real reason I want to do it is because I'm interested to see what it's going to look like with these vintage fabrics, um, but also to give it to my mama uh, and, and not take forever to make it for her. And then... Um, what else was there? I think that's pretty much it. Those are the main things for next week. Oh yeah. And to get, to get this ready so that I can, um, put it together on the live. So many different projects going on. Let me know in the comments. Oh wait, nope, nope. Just kidding. I forgot. There's other things I need to share today. So, um, when I went to the fabric store the other day, this is my, uh, my local fabric store is about 20 minutes from here, uh, in a town called Covington, Georgia. The name of the, um, the store is Patrick, Patrick's feed and seed. So when you walk in, it's a feed and seed, but then there's, um, fabrics in the back. I will link a video that I did from another fabric haul at Patrick. So you can actually see the shop. It's really, um, it's really, it's pretty cool. And you can go in and choose some different fabrics and they do have quality fabrics. Now I did get this black from there. It's called thatched. Um, and it's a motor fabric. And so and they have it in all the different colors, but I got this, but then there was this other fabric that I saw when I was kind of deciding what I wanted to put on the, or to use as the quarter corner triangles. And, um, they didn't, first of all, they didn't have enough of it to do what I needed it to do. But once I saw it, I really liked it. I love scroll fabrics. So when I saw it, I was immediately drawn to it, but I love the color. I love um, everything about it. So it is called, let's see, Whimsy Basic. And it's a Henry Glass fabric. I think I bought what was left on the bolt and I think it was like two and two thirds yards. But I think it can be a really nice 
uh, fabric. I love the dark grays, so it's going to work in some way at some point. But let me bring it close so you can see it. It's very cool, and it is totally my style since I do love the scroll. And I don't use it as much as I would like um, because I'm using a bunch of scraps and stuff. But once I saw it, I was like, yes. And I don't know since I was this probably would have worked as well for the um, the setting triangles. But I think that since I already had the spots in there, you know, this worked out a little bit better because it looks more uniform. Um, also, this fabric is not a, I'm sure I got it from Joann's, but it's a scroll fabric that's kind of similar to this. And so it's just kind of my jam. So I have this and I'm going to take it upstairs and put it in my stash. I really love it. So glad I uh, took the plunge and got it. I received an email last week from one of my subscribers, Lenore. Thank you, Lenore, for reaching out to me. Um, if you follow the channel, especially when with my long arming, I was talking about how um, how I use a the Omni polyester thread and it didn't work and how I was having issues with thread breaking. And I got several recommendations of different threads to try. I'm going to try all of them. Lenore reached out and said, hey, I have some King Tut thread that I would love to send you. And so I said, sure. And I got the package the other day. And thank you again, Lenore. I'll show you what she sent. So here's the bag. And it has four threads in it. Um, brand new threads, Superior Threads King Cut. And I'll, I'll come up close so that you can see the colors. Uh, and these are, these are all kind of in my colorway. She sent a, this one's called White Linen, and I will come close. Um, this one is called, I don't know. What is it called? Sinai. And it's, this one's variegated. This one is called Papyrus. Oh, I get it. Sinai, Papyrus, White Linen. And then this one is called Egypt Rose. And this one is also um, variegated. So let me, let's come close so you can see them. And they are in the plastic, so I'm not going to take them out. This one is the Egypt Rose. You see the variegated there? Pretty, pretty. And then here we have Papyrus. And this is like the, um, I like it to use like a beige thread. And, and this is really nice. It's pretty. And then here is White Linen. And then the last one is, what did I say it was? Sinai. And you can see the variegated on those. Really cute. So excited to see how they're going to work on my, um, on my quilt. So, oh, there's a note. I didn't even see the note. And there's, a, there's some bonus stuff in here too. So let me check this out. And she gave me a little... A little bonus prize so this is a charm pack that she sent and it is called little ducklings let me see what else it says by paper plus cloth and it's a moda um charm pack so let's see I, I may do a little flip through but you can see look at those little ducks so cute and i haven't opened it so let's just do a little flip through Oh, really cute. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the grays. Those are my colors. So I think they can be, it'll be perfect for something at some point. So I will be thinking of a way to use this, especially since I've been on this baby quilt kick. I don't know. So this could be perfect. This would be perfect for a sweet little baby quilt. So thank you again, Lenore. I appreciate you supporting my channel and being so generous. Um, I'm so grateful for you. Now I have all of my, all of this stuff. I need to put it away, but I'm really excited about um, everything that I'm working on. Let me know in the comments what you're working on, what you're excited about. 
Thank you so much for supporting Vlogmas in 20 in July. This year um, is really going well. I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you guys are learning. And even if, I don't know, even if there's just something new, you're like, hey, I might try that. I think that's wonderful. So um, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you do to support my channel. It is really amazing to have a quilting community that is uh, supportive and loving and caring. So I just want you to know that I appreciate you. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!